says here that this is for reviewing and testing purposes only. Are you getting excited yet? Well, no? How about now? What's up, people? Today, we have a very special unboxing for you guys. We've been informed that we are one of the very first people on this planet to receive this care package from AMD. Look, it even has our name on it. Hashtag made it. I swear I didn't write it myself. Honest to God. So what we have here is the brand spanking new Ryzen processors with Radeon Vega graphics. This is the previously codenamed Raven Ridge APUs that everybody's waiting for. As the embargo for the full review will only be lifted on the 12th of February, a day after my birthday. Send me gifts. Today, we'll only be doing the unboxing. Let's get cracking. Okay. Let's crack this. Mmm, Velcro. Let's take a closer look. Says here that Ryzen powers, Radeon reigns, and you prevail. I'm gonna remove this fancy artwork and take a look inside. Look at me now, look at me now. I'm getting paper, look at me now, look at me now. Fresher than a mother. What? More paper. Even more paper. Jokes aside, let's get to the main dish. We first have the Ryzen 3 2200G. For G spot, that's what she said. And the bigger, bolder, and better older brother, the Ryzen 5 2400G. Next, the AMD USB stick that contains all the secrets to unlocking the power of these new processors. Actually, actually no, it's just the BIOS and drivers. There's that. Next, we have the G-Skill Flare X DDR4 RAM designed for AMD Ryzen platforms. These are 8GB sticks rated at 3200 megahertz and a very very tight timing of cl14 that's actually really really tight i dig that too bad it doesn't have rgb though but still looks pretty dope finally our very first gigabyte motherboard the gigabyte ab350n gaming wi-fi this thing is really tiny and really adorable just the way i like it and let's remove this and take a closer look at all this good stuff first let's take a look at the motherboard because mother was bored okay so we have the motherboard itself Stuck. All right. Here you go. The really interestingly shaped antenna. This is a dual band one. Let me crack it open. All right. Here you go. Dual band, as I have stated, and it looks freaking weird. I hope that this is magnetic, so it at least sticks to the casing there's that then we have two sata cables that you can use to connect your storage devices to the motherboard then the very standard looking io plate looks really classy but i'm not gonna break this out because i'll be using the motherboard on a test bench Finally, we have the instructions manual that nobody reads and a CD 
consisting of the drivers that you need to get this running. Let's remove the box. Okay, it didn't fall. Now let's take a look at the motherboard itself. It never ceases to impress me how much technology people are able to squeeze into a motherboard this small. If you want to find out more about this motherboard, go check out Gigabyte's website because I'm not going to do a review on this. We're just going to use this to plug our new processors into to take it for a ride or a spin per se. So there's that impressive little motherboard. Now we're going to move on to the RAM. This is the Gigabyte Flare X AMD Revision RAM. Yeah, something like that. Let's take the dims out. Okay, just popped it out. Let's take the other one out as well. So they are indeed, I think, low profile RAM. The heatsink is pretty nice, nothing too fancy. What I like about this, as I said, was the really tight timing of CL14. And they are rated for the 200 megahertz, so that's a pretty fast RAM. So I'm excited to test these out. Moving on to the main dish. I'm gonna grab the scissors. Satisfying. Is this is right. Yep. Yeah, this is the Ryzen 5 2400G. So here's the chip itself. And we have the cooler. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. We'll take a look at the cooler first. Okay. Here's the stock cooler. Ah, uh, this is the basic one without the RGB lights or LED in general. So pretty simple, comes with pre-applied um, thermal paste and aluminum heatsink. Really nice looking though for a stock cooler, if I do say so myself. Just gonna leave this here so we can see it closer from the front. We're gonna take a look at the Ryzen 3. Ouch. Do not try this at home, kids. It's open. Well, we have the Ryzen 3 2200G itself. Actually, the insides of the packaging looks exactly the same as the existing lineup of Ryzen processors. So there's that. If you're looking for something else, then you won't find it here. Let's take a look at this cooler. And as I have suspected, it's the exact same cooler. The basic AMD stock cooler that I think looks pretty nice with no LED, pre-applied thermal paste and an aluminum heatsink. That's it. I'm just going to leave this here as well. I'm going to crack open a processor so you can have a look at it, but it looks pretty much the same as the existing lineup of Ryzen processors. So there's that. So here's the Ryzen 5 2400G in its full naked glory. I'm just gonna take this out so you can have a ceremonial unboxing of this thing. This is stuff. Can you see it? The 
looks pretty. Always like how a fresh chip looks like out of the plastic enclosure. So shiny. So we've unboxed it all and showed you everything that we're allowed to at this point. If you want to see test results and benchmarks the whole review shebang, please stay tuned to the 12th of February where we will release our full review on the new Ryzen processors with Radeon Vega Graphics, also known as Raven Ridge APUs. If you thought this video was awesome, please give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.